Welcome to Power Concepts. In this training video, we will be looking at merge fields in a Word mail merge document, specifically how to format certain fields such as money or dates to look the way you want. I will assume that your source document and mail merge document have already been created. Here you can see of a source document in Excel with names, amounts, and dates. In Excel, it's easy to format the dates and the money so they look the way you want. Simply select the cells in question. I'll start with my amounts. Then on the home ribbon, in the number group, there are some buttons that can help you out. Obviously for money, I can just click on that money symbol. And now my cells look like money. The same for the date, select the cells in question. And up in the number group, there's no quick button to help us with this, but you should see the word date. Click on the drop down and you'll see some options here in this list, such as short date and long date. I like the long date, however, I don't need the word Sunday. I need some more number formats. Down at the bottom, choose more number formats. In the box that appears, I have a lot more options for my dates, and I can even scroll down to see some more. I like this one near the bottom. It gives me the full word for the month and a four digit year. I think this will help avoid any confusion over what date exactly we're talking about. Simply click on the date that you like and choose OK. Now my dates look just the way that I want as well as my money. Of course, anytime you change your source document, be sure to save when you close. Now in my Word document, I have a letter ready to go with merge fields already inserted. However, when I choose to preview my letters by using the Preview Results button on the Mailings ribbon, you can see my dates and the amounts do not look like my Excel source document. Not what I was expecting. However, we can fix this by adding a little something extra to those merge fields called a switch. I'm going to turn off my Preview Results so I can see my fields, such as date and amount. The first thing we have to do is get Word to show us the code for our fields. You can do this by pressing the Alt key and F9 on your keyboard. Now you'll see those curly brackets as well as the word merge field added to your fields. Next, you simply type in a few characters to tell Word how you want this field to look. This is what's called the switch. First, let's look at the date. Position your cursor directly after the word date. Next, type a backslash. This tells Word where your instructions, or the switch, should start. Next, we have to tell it Word exactly what type of switch this is. Because it's text, we're going to use the at symbol. And text in a switch code needs to be in quotes so type your open quotes. Next, we're going to use a combination of letters in order to tell Word how we want our month, day, and year to appear. As you may have guessed, in order to show the month, we're going to use the letter M. However, we should make sure to use a capital M, as a lowercase m actually means minutes. So in order to show the full word month, not an abbreviation, I'm going to type in one, two, three, four, capital M's. And I do want a space after the month, so I should be sure to type that in. Next I want the day, that's simply a D. I also want a comma. Be sure to type in any commas or periods or dashes that you want to appear in your date. Just type them right in there in the switch. Another space, and for a four digit year, one, two, three, four Y's. Don't forget your closing quotation marks and you're done. Feel free to play around with the number of M's, D's, and Y's. You can always check your results to see how it looks and then go back and change it later. So let's see how this looks. By pressing Alt and F9, I'm closing my codes, so I go back to a regular field, and simply click on Preview Results back up in the Mailings ribbon. And here I can see my date looks just perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Next, let's fix the dollar amount down on the next line. Turn off your preview results, and we're going to press Alt F9 again 
to get Word to show us those codes. Down here in the Amount field, position your cursor directly after the word Amount. Type a backslash, and the code to tell Word that we're dealing with numbers is simply the number symbol. I would like to type in the type of currency that I want in my letter, so I'm going to type in a dollar sign. Next, I want to make sure that Word puts a comma in between any thousands and then the hundreds in my number. In order to show this, I type a number symbol, comma, and then one, two, three number symbols in order to show the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. I definitely want to show some decimals since this is money, so simply type in a decimal and two zeros, and you're done. Notice there's no quotation marks necessary when we're talking about numbers. Again, we can preview our results to see how they look by pressing Alt F9 to close down our codes and use that preview results button up on the ribbon. Now I can see my money looks just the way I want. And of course, I can even check all of my letters by using these little blue arrows up in the preview results group on your mailings ribbon. Simply click that little blue arrow to check your second letter, third letter, fourth letter, and so on as you go through. Perfect, that's just what I wanted. Thank you for checking out the Power Concepts Mail Merge Switch video, and have a great day.